Okay, Tuesday morning in the kingdom, and I'm in the hoe shack, but it's not really that cold. See, look at that. I got to keep the me phone warm. All right, we woke up to minus 15 Celsius, but feels like minus 20. But on the yo-yo scale, plus 5 Fahrenheit, but feels like 0 Fahrenheit. Oh, confusion like Father's Day in Whoville. Yes! See that? I'm going to have to go see Dr. Fraser Crane. That's an emotional experience for me going into Whoville because they hate me so much. We think there's signs on the highway and at the airport. So when you arrive, you are to naturally hate the King of Obsolete. Yes! And yet I'm on Ice Road Truckers and the show is airing, what, 11, 12 years later? And I'm still getting emails and comments from around the world. Yes, I put Whoville on the map and they hate me. Plus, I wrote, what, 40-some books, all based out of Whoville here? Yes, and they still hate me. They just go out of their way to make my life miserable. All right, let's scroll backwards or walk backwards. I'm so confused. All right. All right, we're out in the fresh air. All right. Dave, ask what's we, why we keep the mustard in the freezer. Well, it's simple. It's Oops, it's frozen, except for the dog food on the top. See there? We put dog food in there? Yeah, it's because you never get to the bottom. Like, you're not going to put it in the fridge upside down to get that last spoonful of mustard. Yeah, if it was the vodka, we would, but not the mustard. So we put dog food in there, add some potato water, vegetable water, that kind of stuff, cooking water, and freeze it. Then that gives the dogs a good chew. Why go out and buy chew toys for the dogs when there's lots of stuff here for them to chew? So they get the dog food out, leave the plastic behind, and then I get to pick it up and, how would you say, recycle it in the wood stove. Yes, it's all part of living remote. Yes, oh right, I write books based uh, on living just outside of Whoville in a gated community. Down by the tracks in a 10 by 30 shack. Yes. All right. So let's scroll this way. Hopefully the me phone hasn't censored me. We had big plans, big dreams today. But guess what? I forgot to plug in the D69U known as the Bismarck. All right. Let's keep going here. Stay go stay on topic. Quit thinking of boobies. All right. There's the whole shack. Yeah. We're losing heat. But we got the electric. I mean the f wood stove going with that wet snow wood. Yes. All right, so where's the Bismarck? The Bismarck's over here somewhere. It's the one with the bee plow. We were gonna go out and drag our trails. So once we have trails, then we can get the snow truck up and going. Cause right now we got it going. Where are we gonna go? Drive around the house twice and then park it and call it good? Oh yes, that was my honeymoon, yes. All right, so that's what we were going to do, but we forgot to plug it in. Oh well, but drunk me was actually replying to the comments last night. That video did very well. We're very pleased. Yes, yeah, steady comments, steady views on the videos. That's what we want because everybody's learning. Yes, a lot of people didn't learn. You need a three-quarter inch drive socket set to remove the spark plug from your skill saw. Yes, and it's old school. It's the big ones. 13, 16 socket rivets on it. Well, I better go. Here comes the boss. Okay, Sir Rodney got the goodies in for the Christmas rush. So give him a call or give him an email. His email will be in the end, uh, end screen and on the uh, in the description. Yeah, so he's got the King of Obsolete goodies, hats, t-shirts, everything like that. Plus, he has his own Sir Rodney t-shirts and stuff like that. All right, so give him a call or give him an email. We'll include his video here as he chats about it. But if there's no video here, that means he missed the cutoff because he was busy at West Trans. It's their busy time of year. Hey, what's up, Kingdom followers? It's your one and only Sir Rodney here, live from West Trans. Just wanted to come on real quick. Um, Christmas is almost here. It's that time of the year where people presents for other people. So I just wanted to show you what we got going on here. There's a nice coffee mug, King of Obsolete. And I actually had it autographed by Mr. Barnes himself. We got a King of Obsolete toque, a West Trans toque. On either side there's the famous Sir Rodney t-shirt there's the even more famous thanks t-shirt we have a baseball cap King of Obsolete and the West Trans so if you guys are looking for Christmas ideas for your significant others you know how to get a hold of me and uh, I will ship them out to you it's going to get more and more busy as Christmas gets closer, so get to me and uh, we will ship them out as quick as we can. The snow is finally falling here, so I want to get home. Traffic's going to suck, and we'll talk to you all later. 
Okay, a few things we got to do on the to-do list today. Let's fix the extension cords. Yes, we could buy the good quality extension cords that last forever, but they seem to go missing. Yes, the uh, extension cord fairy seems to take them. Yes, they disappear. So it's better to keep taping and taping these ones up and call it good. But as long as you're on top of your maintenance, you're good to go. So we had a little problem here the other day when the power outage, and we've got to get that fixed. Also, too, drunk me's having troubles with these timers yes these timers so we're gonna have to figure out a better way to mark this because the older i get and the more i drink i can't see the little numbers or the ratings so we'll have to take this into the house and devise a better plan yes a better plan so it's foolproof when i'm sober or when i'm drunk oh my tuesday morning in whoville it's just after 10 a.m and as you can see it started snowing again it's been on and off snowing most of the night so let's head inside let the dogs out make breakfast then at 1 p.m i'll head over to the kingdom and see what we're doing today pretty sure we're going to take the fancy trailer behind the house and load up some firewood okay lunchtime in the kingdom we hung the big fan way back there to try and blow the heat down on the wood to dry it yes dry it it's kind of all snow covered i don't know why all right so we got this cord fixed one more time yes one more time i think that's a rock and roll song all right so over here i took these in at coffee time this morning so what they are is basically a 24 hour timer all i had to do is take my magic marker i called this noon i called that midnight who cares if i got the colors wrong or whatever but the thing is as long as the numbers are correct so this will be uh, at noon right now. So the timer will kick in at 3 a.m. Because I'm calling this midnight. Yes. All right. And then it goes around till 1 just after lunch. 1 p.m. and it'll cut off. So that should be good enough to start the Bismarck. So sober me knows how to work this. And drunk me can even work this. Because I made it simple. I don't need my bionic glasses on to see the numbers. And I did the same on this one here. Yes. Change it out. Make it simple for the old guy. Yes. The old guy. 12 p.m. and I'm just getting ready to make lunch. As you can see, it stopped snowing for the moment, but I'm sure it'll pick up again. The sun is trying to peek out from behind the clouds. So let's head inside, let the dogs out, make lunch. I think I'm gonna have hot dogs today. We are in a low pressure system, so my water won't boil. Almost 1 p.m. and I'm just finishing up lunch and I got the Polaris out. It started up no problem. This is the temperature we're sitting at right now. It's negative 12 degrees Celsius, which is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. As you can see from my weather board, the wind is starting to pick up. So let's head inside, let the dogs back in and go over to the kingdom. Just after 1 p.m. and I made it to the kingdom. Looks like we're going to do some more firewood today. Get the mini out and drag the fancy trailer behind the house and load it up. And then there's some trees and stuff that we pulled out the other day before it started snowing too bad. We're going to try and bring those up to the shop. So let's head on down and get ready. Down at the shop now and I just have to finish emptying out the last little bit of the fancy trailer here. So I'll fill up the tubs and then we can get the mini out and drag this around behind the house. 1.30 and we just finished emptying out the fancy trailer. Now my dad's getting the mini out so we can hook on and drag it around the side of the house to the back where our log trailer is and we can get some more firewood. Made it in behind the house, no problem. Now we'll wiggle the trailer in in front where Laverne was right here. I think that's where we're going to put it since there's kind of a snow drift everywhere else. And then we'll start loading up the trailer. On our way back, we will stop and hopefully pick up a bundle of these trees that are in the snow there.
my dad is just plowing a little bit of snow so we can turn the fancy trailer around and wherever it ends up, that's where we'll load it. Got the fancy trailer into place, now my dad's gonna fluff up the wood pile, but if we take a look, looks like there's been some animals on top of the snow here. Pretty sure those are fox tracks, it's actually pretty high up, looks like they're having fun. Almost 2.30 and look who finally showed up for work, our new hire Brad just sitting on the mini looking pretty. We are pretty much done, we are down to the nitty gritty here, we can sort out the rest after. We're pretty much cleaned out the whole trailer so within the next couple days we'll have to go fill it again. Just after 2.30 and we got the fancy trailer loaded up, there's not much left in the log trailer. Now we'll hook onto the mini and drag it over to where those two piles of trees are and load those up on top. When we're over there, I'll bring the two tubs into the hose shack, that way we don't have to fill them again. Before we head over and pick up those trees with the fancy trailer and the mini, my dad's going to start up Cursor Reverse so we can plow the snow so the fancy trailer can go back by the shop. Made it over to the trees with the fancy trailer no problem, didn't get stuck which is good. Now my dad will load up these trees here and then we can head back over and get cursor reverse out and do some snow. Somebody put the trees the wrong way so we have to turn them around so all the roots are on one end towards the front of the trailer and not the other way around. Surprised he was able to get the full load of trees there, that's pretty good. Now I'll walk over and pick up the small stuff. Got all the trees loaded up on the fancy trailer, no problem. Now my dad went around to get Curse Reverse so we can start plowing some snow. The only snow we are doing for right now is clearing out where the fancy trailer was so we can put it back and cut up some firewood.
3 p.m. we just got the blade turned and to turn the blade we pull out the two pins on either side here I'll walk up and show you there are two bolt pins on either side that we pull out then we hammer this part out and then we can turn it to wherever we need to as you can see there is a hole here then there's one back here somewhere as well but we need it straight right now so my dad can do a long push all the way out the back gate My dad's pushing all the snow away from the shop here because when we pull out the Z-drag, all these little sticks and stuff will get caught in it. While he's pushing the snow away, I'll get on the mini and bring the fancy trailer back around to the shop. Just after 3 p.m. and I was able to get the fancy trailer up to the shop no problem. I parked it exactly where it was before but a little farther back that way we're not bumping our knees on the hitch. Now I'll put the mini away and we can start cutting up some firewood. 3.30 and we're down at the shop gonna cut up some firewood but first we have to adjust the timing on the skill saw to make sure it's working great so we can cut up some bigger trees. Not sure if you can see there but there's two ground wires on the bottom. Walk in and show you guys. Now let's get cutting. 4 p.m. We just got everything cut up. Now I'll head inside and grab my dog treats and go back into Whoville and do the weather at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. and this is the temperature we're sitting at right now. It's negative 12 degrees Celsius, which is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. We even had the feels like on the bottom. It was a pretty nice afternoon. I was actually warm while we were doing wood. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, make supper, and end my day. Okay, 5 o'clock in the kingdom, we got the wood stove stocked up, yes, and look at it go. Alright, so we got the cords run out, but we're not stretching a cord from the, how'd you say, the shop, because we need one for in the morning for the 39 Chevy. We had cleaned off the snow, because we don't want the motor, how'd you say, the block heaters to warm up everything, and then the snow melts and it becomes ice. So over here, we strung another cord, can we see that, Yogi? All right, so over here we did a test run with the cords, okay? You don't put the uh, timer in. You make sure you, how'd you say, plug in the block heater to the cord, and then you know there's power. So we know there's power because the snow melted off in there. Ooh, my booby flashlight's not working. All right, there we go. I took it out of my pocket. All right, oh, can we see? All right, so we know the snow melted there, so it's good to go. All right, so then we know we got this timer is set. I travel checked it on the clock in the shop. So at three o'clock in the morning, the block heater will kick in and the Bismarck, yes, the Bismarck. Let's see here, the Bismarck with the V plow. We'll be ready to drag some snow with the double Z. All right, so we ran the cord this way and there's a reason why. All right, let's follow the cord, Yogi. All right, because we're gonna walk the dogs here and what do dogs do? They run everywhere and they unplug everything as they run by. So I put the cord this way and we can't tie the cords. Yes, we can only tape them. So we leave the cords out like that so they're visible. And then if the doggies run by and unplug it, that's acceptable because I'll be the last one to walk past here to do a double check before I go to bed so we know we're good to go. 
Okay, we're done for the day. Look at the mess we made. But it's sheer ice under here. That snow melt, the rain melt, everything. It's sheer ice. The little cat did pretty good. But we don't want snow pack. Yes, we're not into the winter road trucking repair business anymore. Well, nobody paid us. We don't want the trucks in the yard. We want the snow base for the cats, the sleighs, for us to have fun. Yes, that's what we want. Because I'm retired, we're documenting the cats and sleighs. Because when I'm dead and gone, Who's going to be out there to do it? Nobody. Nobody. We're the last ones to have experience with the Lynn tractors, the sleighs, the cats, everything. So we're documenting it, how it worked. Because looking at pictures, people don't understand. But having videos and understanding how the, how the sleighs work and how to drag snow to make the right texture. All right. The wind's getting up. All right. Look at the flags. They're all kind of tangled up in their natural state. I didn't untangle this morning. I didn't untangle them this morning. What was I doing? Oh, wait. I was sober. All right. Let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, and how would you say make a video? Talk to you later.